I cannot believe you just, you turned 60. I turned 60. You look 60. 30. <laughs> you're very, you're very kind. Thank you. I had a great birthday. I felt, I, I think 60's cool. I was, I thought 50 was cool. I think 60 was cool. I want to just keep it going. Uh -huh. So if you could pick one, if, if you could pick, like, which one would you go with? 50, 60? I, I got to tell you, I, I've never felt better. I've never... I, I feel like I'm at the peak of everything, I, whether it's you know relationships mm. or physical, mental, family, friends, career. I, I, I'm having the best time of my life. That's for good sure. living. For sure, and I'm really grateful. Yes, really like gratitude is a huge part of it, right? Oh, gra gratitude and curiosity. Ah. People always say like, why do you look? You know what it is? Is when you think about kids, yes. what is the number one trait they all have? They're all super curious. Wow. Do you remember kids who are like, Mommy, what about this? Daddy, what are you? Like the yeah. questions that never ended? Uh -huh. Curiosity. So that keeps you youthful. Yes, being curious, interested in other people, not closed in your ways, wanting to learn. To me, the spirit of that is, is the most youthful thing you can have. Okay, I'm going to write that down because I yeah. want to look as youthful as you when I turn 60. Now, I don't know about this, Rob, because you know, now, Rob, I don't like being cold, okay? They I love were talking about this backstage, that you are not down at all with, like, cold plunges mm -hmm. and the things that people do to stay younger. No cold wow. plunges? No. You, is this ice and cold? What, look, what is the story behind this? Not only is it cold, there's actually, look at the ice. I see it! Uh, and look, you gotta breathe, because you oh. feel like your heart's gonna stop. I'm on my way from here to, to, to go do that again. How often do you do it? Um, if it's available and it's convenient, I will do it w once a day, for sure. A day? Yeah, it's, it's the best. It releases <laughs> a, a, some sort of, who knows? I'm not a scientist. It releases some sort of who, who knows thing that when your body is shocked into cold and it, it elevates your mood, it constricts your blood vessels. It's, I, I couldn't, I could, I love it. I absolutely it's okay, well, that hard. part I'm gonna leave to you, Rob. All yeah. right, because just hearing about it, whoo, yeah, it's, Jesus. It's, <laughs> it's cold. I mean, the only thing I wanna say is you, you gotta make sure when you're coming out of the cold plunge that there's nobody there to look at you as a guy, if you know <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, Rob. <laughs> Not your best moment. Okay, you can teach me about this. Rob, you've been married for 33 years. That is mm -hmm. amazing. You're 33. Okay. Congratulations. My wife is my wife is a saint. Yes. The woman is a saint. <laughs> Cheryl Lowe. She's the best. Wow. What do you remember? See, that that's how you get to 33 years. You that's, said your wife that's is all, the that's best. That's wedding day. What do you remember from your wedding day? I remember our first dance. We had, without a doubt, the the, the our, I remember our first um, our first dance was the theme to Out of Africa, one of the most romantic songs oh. in the world. Wow. Um, and it was, we didn't want anybody to know about it. Mm -hmm. We didn't want it to be in the papers. So we had it at a friend's house and told people they were coming to a daytime luncheon with a wedding theme. So when they walked in and saw the altar and they didn't go, what the hell? And then we walked down the aisle and everybody was like, oh my God, they're getting married. Like, you surprised your guests. Yeah, I had no idea. Okay. And we kept the guest list really, really small. It was great. I loved it. And clearly, you've been married small, 33 years. Easy, not a lot of stress. And uh -uh. We may have to do that, guys. That's a good idea. It's a really good idea. Keep it low, and Keep then you'll be married this long. I like that. And then you're an empty nester now. Oh. So I have that to look forward to because my son is 15. He'll be 18 in a few years. So I'm like, ooh, I'm going to be an empty nester soon. So what is the best part about being an empty nester? Well, I was... Becoming one was actually super emotional for me, and I actually wrote about it in my oh. second book. And I was so sad. And then once they they were out of the house, I was I looked at my wife and went, "Wait a minute, I remember you. <laughs> You're hot. Oh, <laughs> and we have fun together. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I could wake up in the middle of the night." and go get a midnight snack without any clothes on again. <laughs> okay. And it was very freeing. Good. And, and it really remind. I, I, love, I love being an empty nester now. Mm. I was sad when they left, and I thought this was the end of that relationship yeah. with your kids. It's not. It's just the beginning of a new chapter. Okay. Now, how long does that phase last, though, Rob? Please. There's my guys. 
These are your sons? Those are my sons. Wow. Right? Look at those boys. Yeah. Oh they fully grown, huh? Little boys. Yeah, one is uh, is 30 and the other is turning 20. No, but Matthew's turning 31 this weekend and then my other is going to be 29 uh, in November. That is amazing. Okay, now, you've been acting for 45 years, but do you remember what your first job was? What was that? Oh, yeah, my first paying job. Mm -hmm. I was a paper boy for the Dayton Daily News. Mm. How cute is this? Now, I was really good at, those were in the days where you could fold the papers up and toss them, and I was, I love that. I hit the door perfectly and have it bounce just exactly <laughs> right. Like, I was super into that, but I was terrible at going and collecting the money. I was mm. so bad. And oh. I was in a neighborhood where they, like, sometimes didn't pay, well, oftentimes didn't pay me. And my dad got so mad, he was a lawyer, that he and I went to small claims court and sued, like, half the neighbors. Oh, wow. <laughs> It was amazing. Okay, it was amazing. Did you win? We won, and they just still didn't pay. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, y'all owe Rob some money. Give him his check. Come on, or I will send my dad after you. <laughs> <laughs>